that you have come out as well to join me for a video of a little bit of a mixed bag because I want to show you some things and I want to show them to you now because I only saw, saw them like yesterday and I thought ah oh, let's get this out there because these are some of the things that I'm like happy about and I want to share that so here first of all is my Ocioclades spathulifera and look, I've got a new growth coming. It hasn't done anything for over a year. I grew this bulb here, and then it just went quiet. And there now is the next one. So I'm really pleased because that's easily missed because it imitates the Lekka color. I love this little thing. It sits and doesn't take up much space, but the foliage is always always so, I don't know, interesting, I would say. It's in semi-hydro, Lekka only. And it's got a new growth coming, which is fabulous. And then over here, let me keep doing this slowly, is my other Richara Francis Fox. This one's a name variety, supposedly, called Sunrise. And this growth that, finished, that took like a year and a half, to develop this one right here with the two leaves is finally putting out some roots now this plant is pot bound so I'm not particularly concerned that it doesn't have roots but it is in a very very sorry condition when I got it from uh, an eBay seller let me make sure that I get it right who were you let me see I don't want to waste time oh Olympus 1975 normally great plants and I ordered this one because I didn't trust the Schwerter one to make it and it came out and it looked kind of rubbish but we're getting there we're getting there this went from just three little growths in the back like a division with no roots and we're holding on we're holding on and now a new flush I'm so happy and then here is area hyacinthinoid, which has not bloomed for me in two years. And I thought it was an easy grower, no fuss. And for whatever reason, it skipped. And now I'm getting buds. I am so excited. Now, unfortunately, my intention was to buy this one, you know, hyacinthinoid, fragrance of hyacinths. It is not fragrant. Unfortunately, the blooms are not long lasting, but they're cute and white and a nice little addition. It is more like a terrestrial orchid, really. The roots look like something that, you know, you would put into this, like soil. But uh, soil orchids, soil plants in general, are very, very well cultivated in semi-hydro. So area hyacinthinoides, we're gonna have some blooms. I'm gonna have to film them very quickly because they grow fast and, there's, and then they die fast, which is a shame. And then, let me bring this over, maybe I don't get as much distortion if I do it this way. Here's my Dendrobium hibiki. No matter how I train this one with regards to how the growth should be towards the light to get it upright, it, it is a spreader. Never mind, but look. Okay, I've seen the growths before. So I have one, two, three, four. So, okay, they were growing. Well, that's obvious. I got another cakey growing here. All right, we'll let it do that. But I think, I think these are the beginning of buds right here, right here, and right here. I'm not holding my breath. This thing can be a cakey machine, as the orchid room knows. But it's possible that there are those are buds. Anyhow, four new growths already pumping out and uh, that is great for this season there is something else though hard to believe that's why i'm telling you look at this yes and another spike my goodness and this is golden peacock can you believe it it's been photobombing us in several of my videos in the Graciana Alba one, it was right there with all the blooms from last year. 
during the winter and it's still holding on to one of those blooms and it hasn't got a, a sign of dropping off. I am gobsmacked about this plant. I am absolutely gobsmacked because now it's going to, it's already producing its next spike. So we are not going to be short of golden peacock blooms anytime soon and I'm just blown away. <laughs> I love it, I love it. But let me show you something else. Let me show you something else that absolutely, well, if I could still do cartwheels, I would. What do you think? Still pretty? Last I read, it's still going strong. If you see a spotlight video on this on my channel at some point, forgive me, just humor me, because honestly, when something is in bloom like this, <laughs> Film it, film it, film it. But that's not what I'm gonna show you. I want to show you, and I hope the light will let me. And I'm gonna do this slowly because I don't want distortions. Can you see that? Can you see that in there? Can, uh, I, might, I, mean, I may need to talk loud. I don't know why I'm whispering because it's not like they're going to get shocked or maybe they will. We'll cover that up. Let's go down here. I think it'll be a bit more obvious down here. Let me go back a bit. See what I'm doing. Can you see that? So yes, I'm sorry, I had to start a new clip because I wasn't sure what I was looking at and if you could even see anything with a backlight. But my Parkinsonianum is actually in bud. And I cannot tell you how excited I am. I bought this plant in memory of my father. He had Parkinson's. And I know that that sounds weird you know, to associate that with Parkinsonianum, but that's how the name jumped out at me. And this would be its first blooming in my care, or lack thereof, because, you know, that's dried up. That's dried up, I think. Because it is in semi-hydro, and normally these are mounted, and I had moss growing on it in the early days. I didn't want that. I didn't want to rot the base. So I sprayed hydrogen peroxide on it. And now I wish there would be more moss growing, but we're getting there. I'm trying to grow this moss here. So yes, <laughs> my Parkinsonianum is going to bloom. Happy days. Look at it. Long. <laughs> so yeah, that was a quick video just to little bit of a mixed bag of discoveries of the recent 24 48 hours so I hope that you enjoyed that and uh, enjoy what you have planned today stay safe and uh, I'll see you next time thank you so much for joining me bye, bye.